hello everyone this is mapder once again with another video today i'm going to show you how to configure wireguard side to side vpn on pfsense on diagram you can see on my left side is head office and on my right side is branch office both are connected to internet with static wan ip address lan on head office is 172.16.10.0/24 lan on branch office is 192.168.20.0/24 let's check if we can ping other side local network from both end as you can see we can reach local network to the other side let's ping our gateway we can get icmp reply from gateway on dark theme on left side is our head office and white theme on right side is our branch office let's install wireguard package on pfsense go to system and package manager go to available package and install wireguard i have already installed on both of the firewalls let's enable wireguard on both end go to vpn and select wireguard then settings and enable wireguard do the same with the branch office firewall let's create a wireguard tunnel go to tunnel and add give a description listening port click on generate keys and save do the same with the branch office firewall let's forward wireguard port on firewall go to firewall then select nat add port forwarding rule interface will be wan address family will be ipv4 protocol will be udp destination will be wan address destination port range will be 51820 redirection ip will be wan address port will be 51820 hit save and apply changes create the same rule on branch office pfsense let's add wireguard interface on head office select interface then assignment and select wireguard and enable the interface give a description ipv4 config will be static ip address will be 10.6.210.0/31 hit save and apply changes go to branch office select interface then assignment select wireguard and enable interface give a description ipv4 static ip address will be 10.6.210.1/31 and save and apply the changes let's add wireguard firewall rules go to firewall and select rules select wireguard action will be pass interface will be wireguard address family will be ipv4 protocol will be any give a description and save apply changes create the same rule on branch office now let's add peer on head office click on peer and select tunnel wg0 give a description remove the check dynamic and add branch office when ip address keep alive i'm going to give 30 seconds copy the public key from branch office tunnel allowed ip i'm going to give 10.6.210.0/31 wireguard tunnel network second allowed ip will be the lan network of the branch site that is 192 168.20.0/24 hit save and apply changes let's add headquarter peer on 
branch office. Click on peer and select tunnel WG0. Give a description. Remove the check dynamic and add head office when IP address. Keep alive. I'm going to give 30 seconds. Copy the public key from head office tunnel. Allowed IP. First, I'm going to give 10.6.210.0 slash 31 wide guard tunnel network. Second allowed IP will be the LAN network of head office site that is 172.16.10.0 slash 24. Hit save and apply the changes. Let's check our wire guard status. As you can see our wire guard handshake has been formed. Now time to create gateway and static routing. First I am going to create gateway for head office. Go to system and select routing. Add a new gateway. Interface will be your wire guard. Gateway IPB will be branch office wire guard interface IP that is 10.6.210.1. Give a description. Hit save. Now select static routes and new. Destination network will be the branch office LAN that is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. Gateway will be your wire guard gateway. Give a description. Hit save and apply changes. Now let's create gateway and static routes on branch office and then routing. Add a new gateway. Interface will be your wire guard. Address family will be IPv4. Gateway IP will be head office wire guard interface IP. That is 10.6.210.0. Give a description and save. Go to static routes and new. Destination network will be your head office network. That is 172.16.20.0. Slash 24. Gateway will be your wire guard gateway. Give a description. Hit save and apply. Now let's check our VPN and our routing. Let's try to ping from branch office to head office and from head office to branch office. As you can see, we can get our echo reply and our connection is been established. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.